Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is based on the sound mechanics. In this lecture, we are going to solve uh, this numerical problem in which some known parameters are given to us and we are going to find some unknown parameters. So the problem statement is an undisturbed sample of playlist style is found to have weight, wit weight, it means the wit weight, not the dry one, the wit weight of 300 Newton, the dry weight of 260 Newton and a total volume of 0 0.015 cubic meter. So these are the some of the uh, known parameters to us. If specific gravity of soil, soil solid is 2.70, determine the water content, the wide ratio and the degree of saturation. So first we have to write the given parameters or the known parameters. So the given data is the width weight of the soil is the width weight of the soil is 300 Newton while the dry weight of soil is 260 260 Newton and a total volume of the soil is point total volume of the soil Vt is equal to the point zero one five cubic meter and if specific gravity of the soil solid is this GS represented there shows the specific gravity which is 2.70 here in this case these are some of the known parameters to us now we are going to find determine the water content that how much water content is present in this soil mass with the known parameters what is the wide ratio of this soil mass and what is the degree of saturation of this soil mass so we are going to find one by one the first one is the water content represented by percent water so this is known and then we have to find the wide ratio and then we have to find the degree of saturation represented usually by S. So the first one is the water content. Now to find the water content, we can use this formula which is equal to the, the water content is equal to the weight of the wet soil minus weight of the dry soil dividing by the weight of the dry soil multiplying with, with the hundred percent because the water content is always appear in the percentage so the water content will be equal to the width of the wet soil is 300 width of the dry soil is 260 so just plugging the values here dividing by 260 multiplying with the hundred percent we get our water content in percentage comes out to be 15.38 percent so this is the water content present in the soil mass having the wet weight of 300 and the dry weight of 260 Newton. Now the second part is to find the wide ratio E. So wide ratio is presented by E which is unknown to us. To find the wide ratio I can use this formula. The gamma dry is equal to the specific gravity multiplying with the gamma W which is unit weight of water dividing by the 1 plus E. So I can find this E. But this, this is known to us which is specific gravity of the soil which is 2.7 the game of water the game of w of water is known to us which is 9.8 kilonewton per cubic meter e is unknown to us we have to find this and here in this case the game of dry is unknown to us so first we have to find the game of dry then we can plug put the value of game of dry here and we can find out the e which is y ratio so First to find the gamma dry. The gamma dry we can find by this formula. Gamma dry is the density which is equal to the weight, the dry weight divided by the total volume. So with the dry weight here is 260 Newton. But we have to convert this in kilonewton because all the units are being used in kilonewton in meter. So this one is Newton. So I'm converting to kilonewton minus 3. This will be now kilonewton 260. And total volume is also in cubic meter. So it is 0 0.015 meter cube or cubic meter. So the dry density comes out to be 17.33 kilonewton per cubic meter. This is the dry uh, unit weight of the soil. So putting this value here in this case, the G is known to us, gamma W is known to us, we can find the E. So gamma dry, which is equal to 17.33. I'm just putting all these values in this equation. GS is 2.7 multiplying by the gamma W is a unit weight of water which is 9.8 kN 
in newton per cubic meter all units should be in the same format and one plus a so only the unknown is e here so we can arrange this equation and we can find the e and after solving this equation e comes out to be 0 0.0528 and this y ratio cannot be uh, usually not represented in percentage but represented in decimal point so the y ratio of the soil sample is 0.528 now the only unknown to us is the degree of saturation now we have to find the degree of saturation here now to find the degree of saturation we can use this equation is show the degree of saturation is multiplying with the y ratio is equal to the gs multiplying with the water content a very famous equation so with the help of this equation uh, we can find the degree of saturation because the y ratio is known to us we found out the e which was 0.528 gs is known to us gs is 2.7 is given to us here the water content is known to us which is which was we, we found out 15.38 but here we will not use in percentage we will use is 0.1538 dividing just this by 100 so we will get in decimal so putting all these will in this equation we will get the degree of situation so this will be equal to the gs multiplying with the water content dividing by the e so again plugging the value gs is 2.70 water content is 0.1538 and y ratio e is we found out e before which was 0.528 so it comes out to be after calculating 0 0.7670 the degree of saturation if you multiply it with 100 percent so it comes out to be 76.70 percent this is the degree of saturation of this soil sample having the wet weight of 300 dry weight of 260 and total volume of 0.1015 with the specific gravity of 2.70 hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching my video